money don't control me They don't see the work that you put in J-Mo say you either do it for the hustle or the passion Man, I hustle with my passion, I'm passionate This all that I got, man, I gotta make it happen God help me stay on track, I know I'm dope with the rest Yo, 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 welcome, welcome, welcome back to BMC Studios Live I'm your man J-Mo, I got my man G2 What's up, what's up Right what's up? on the side of me today we got a nice Nice performance lined up for y'all today. A nice interview we here today for y'all. Houston artist. Houston Woo. artist. Trill City Guapo. Trill City Guapo. You can let him tell y'all about it, man. Y'all tap in and y'all listen, man. What's up, man? Appreciate y'all having me here, man. It's a great day here in Houston. Hot day in Houston. I hope y'all may see his working in y'all vehicles. I am Trill City Guapo at Trill City Guapo on all platforms, music platforms, gaming platforms. Somewhere on the internet, type in Trill City Guapo, you're going to find something about me, hopefully. For sure. Yo, For yo, sure. yo, yo. So now that y'all have heard the introduction of him, you know, we want to... I think here on Barbershop Raps is to promote, you know, Houston artists. You know, I don't care what you do. If you're a poet, artist, female artist, Barbershop Raps is where you need to be. Because like I said, we want to promote everybody on here and let the city know about, you know, the artists that we bring on here and just, you know... Get child to become a fan of his by his merch, listen to the music, whatever. For sure, for sure. So my first question is, um, and like the people want to know, like, Trill City Guapo, where you from? Like, you know. Um, all right. So where am I from? So mm -hmm. this, all right. Off tops, I'm, I was born and raised in California. So okay. Right. San Fernando Valley, they went eight. Become California stand up. Okay. Um, I moved out here with my family to uh, San Antonio. Okay. And I'm gonna just tell everybody right now, San Antonio sucks, bro. If you if you've never been to San Antonio, it's it's such a boring ass city, bro. I don't care what anybody <laughs> says. And their Mexican food's bad. Okay. I said it. They can fight me if they want to. Um, and I came up here to Houston, bro, on a, on just like a, a trip to visit a friend. And uh, dude, just fell in love with it. I was like, dude, this is LA except with shitty weather and like bad beaches. But like, mm -hmm. this is cool, bro. Uh, so I ended up like one day just moved up here, bro. I like packed all my stuff in my car and like, Dang. so I'm gonna give y'all the long story. I lived with this Russian lady for a while, bro. I mm -hmm. rented a room from her. She's like a big Vladimir Putin fan. It's the weirdest shit, man. Um, but I moved up here, rented a room and just kind of like started grinding and got my own spot, man. And just kind of love being here. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I see a lot of people, a lot of artists, like, especially that grow up here, they try to go to LA and shit. I'm like, dude, why? So much dope shit here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But London city. Lot, yeah. But I've, I've, I've taken a, I've taken a liking to Houston. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm part of Houston. Um, try to. Immerse myself in the culture when I can, and but I still keep my you know West Coast ways. So, so where do you say your music sound come from? Back home or? Uh, I think it's just a mixture. Okay. Of uh, just back home from what I've taken from here. Um, I think just trying to be unique and not sound like mm -hmm. Atlanta. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? How how long have you been in the Houston area? Uh, I'm gonna say like eight years. Okay. Hey, what's up in here? Okay. And it's been it's been good to me. I survived damn hurricanes, floods, snowstorms. I'm like, dude, like <laughs> pandemics, man, this is yeah, pandemics bro. Like <laughs> pandemics. I don't know if I should still be up here, bro. Like I should it's try to show. It's the scam dude. There ain't no pandemic. It's a scam. Oh, man. <laughs> they actually, man, like I said, they 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 playing out here. I've lived in Houston my whole life and I have never, ever Seen the weather like that before. It, it snowed here a couple of times, but it, it was never no shutdown. The city shut down, nothing like that. Yeah. And it's never flooded like they ever here before. Yeah. So, like I said, it, I, I believe they playing with the weather. Call me crazy. They might have. Fight me. <laughs> yeah, they playing with the weather. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But I like it, man. I like Houston. Um, so, where am I from? I'm from California, right? No, okay. uh, migrated to Texas and just been adopted by Houston. So like I say, so with you moving and you know you going through the different changes that come that came along with the city that you moved to, I know twenty twenty was like a that was a year for everybody. Like oh, yeah. the whole world shut down. I don't think it's gonna ever be a time like that again. But what was the mind like? You know, we're moving to a new city and, and you know you survived the hurricane, you know the snowstorm. But how did you survive? And what was the mind like having to shut down like for the pandemic? You was either going so all right. So I've been in Houston. I've been in Houston. Like I said, I've been here about eight years. Right? Mm -hmm. It's been. It almost seems like time's kind of gone by really fast. 
mm-hmm. you know, because I'm like, damn, it's been eight years? Like, really? Uh, yeah. Um, but then at the same time, you have these, like, events that keep happening throughout these eight years. I'm just like, damn, like... Good and bad? Good and bad. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, with the pandemic, man, I think it really forced um, creatives and just musicians, I mean, any, any form of art, mm-hmm. um, to kind of either step up your game or call it quits. Oh. Right? Because I like the choice the, of words. That's, that's the way nice. I see it is like, all right, so your shit's not, you know, like me as, as an artist, I, I make my money in performances, right? Mm-hmm. You go out, you perform, you get paid, you do it. You sell merch there. You sure. sell, uh, you know, you sell what you got to sell. Dude, I sell water bottles at my, at my shows. Hey. Not I'm everybody's there to get drunk, bro. Hustle. Some people just there to chill. It's just hot, brand, too. It's, that's a hustle. Awesome. You know what I'm saying? That's my shit. Um, so it's just like, Having that avenue of money coming in. I'm not a trap rapper, bro. I'll be straight up on that shit. Um, so I got to get my money in other ways. Investments, stocks, cryptocurrency, shit like that. You know what I'm That's a good one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's still a hustle, bro. It's just I'm not trying to go to jail, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just trying to play a little smarter, bro. I understand the money's not as fast, but, like, it's coming whatever. Um, long term, though. You know, yeah, bro. It's... Me, my mama, she she raised me, bro, to think steps ahead, not just for the sure, now. Because there's not always, sure, there's just always just a repercussion for whatever uh, action you take, right? There's always going to be something that follows it. So she's always told me look out for the long play. So that's right. That's, that's a good one. That's a good one. Long day. And mama's dope, man. That's a good one. Not for the now. That's a good one. For y'all to listen to mom, for, like I said, why, you know. So did when, at a, I'm sure she probably, well, I don't know, but, um, at a young age, did you understand that when she first, you know, taught you that lesson or told you that statement? Nah, bro, I was a knucklehead when I was a girl. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? Like, like any kid, bro, like you just kind of just like, nah, I, I know what I'm doing. Type For shit. Sure. Like, I don't need to listen to you. And then as you get older, you're like, fuck, I was an idiot, bro. Like, yeah. You should have probably just listened. <laughs> but at the same time, like, there's people, I mean, people are different, bro. Some people learn in, um, you know, they got to make the mistake, and that's how yeah. they learn by experience. And some people like me, we're just like, ah, I saw him fuck up. I ain't trying to do that for shit. Sure, you know man. what I'm saying? Like, for sure. So, uh, yeah, man, I mean, everybody's journey is different. So, but yeah. you will learn it at the end of the day. Mm. Yeah, some of those that's lessons, good. like, and I, I know you have, you know, you have a daughter. So, some of those lessons, you know, that your mom taught you, did you see yourself when you became a father teaching her some of those same lessons and applying those same techniques, but just in a different way? Um, Yeah. I try it like, all right, so y'all met my kid. Uh-huh. My kid's pretty dope. Hey, by the way, happy Father's Day. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> happy Father's Day. Doing this on Father's Day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yeah, man. Like, all right, so kids kids are twin. Kids are, all right, so kids are like a clone of you, right? I believe They're it. just like, <laughs> like you make this thing and it's just like a free form. And whatever you feed into it, it's sure. just going to reciprocate, right? Yeah. So, like, whenever I hear people talk about their kids, like, damn, my kids are annoying. I'm like, How? and you're annoying, exactly. bro. Because, <laughs> yeah, if your kids annoy you, they pick up the shit that you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you do. so with my kid, I was always like, all right, let's, let's teach, let's teach you as, as you grow on. Let's, let's, I mean, she loves music. She likes uh, picking beats. She likes doing all that stuff. Exactly what you like. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, anime she likes it because i like watching that shit like her mom likes watching that type of stuff so um yeah man i mean whatever you feed into your kids so really it's just spending time with your kid yeah and some people rather put an ipad in front of the kid's face it's and just be like yo go to, go to the room and you know all yeah. shit. i say kids are like a it's like a plant you know it's just a different form you know you plant a seed in the ground and, and sometimes when you go out there and you tell your crops oh shit, this crop ain't growing up fuck this crop <laughs> that plant is listening to it. Yeah. And so when you have negative crop, you know, bad crops, it's because of the words you spoke to it. And same with a kid. It's a seed in a different form, but this one is a physical living being. Like, it has eyes, nose, ears, and everything. So whatever you feed into it, it's how it grows up. But if, if you nothing but positivity into it, that's going to be a flourishing, a beautiful tall tree once it kind of gets to the age of, you know, the age of now. And I mean, if you, all right, so I've been through some shit, right? Y'all been through some shit. Mm-hmm. Like we can help our kids like not do that same yeah, thing. And really it's all just spending time with them and just like breaking shit down for them. Because sure. like, some people like, all right, so I ain't had my pops in my life for very long. Mm-hmm. Get that one day. <laughs> Whatever, bro. Everybody makes their life decisions. Yeah. Um 
for me was like, yo, okay, I don't I don't just wanna one day just dip out, right? Yeah. I just be that type of dude. So like I made sure to spend time with my kid and teach her for you sure. know what she needs to know. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And just know her to know, like, yo, daddy loves you, dog, like I'm here for you. And a lot of I think a lot of dudes, a lot of dads have an issue with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't like to show that type of time. Because it's one thing to show, like, all right, I love my kid, whatever. Blah, blah. Yeah. But, like, what are you spending your time doing, right? Like, yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I love my kid, but I'm over here just focused on this. Like, if you love your kid, your kid's going to appreciate more of the time that you spend with them. You know what I'm saying? The shit that they learn from you, rather than just, oh, I bought them this expensive iPad, this expensive movie, whatever. Yeah. Like, I'm keeping them entertained, I'm keeping them fed, blah, blah. My daughter's telling me a bunch of times. Like, I just like spending time with them. I'm like, damn, that's crazy. I didn't know that. Like, yeah. so <laughs> I'm that dope. Like, that I appreciate that because she's a dope kid. So, like, I'm like, damn. So, this, this uh, um, you know, they do like a question of the day. My question is, like, our question is, like, how did being a, um, a father, like, impact and change your life? Yeah. It makes you, like, not, well, it depends, bro. Because, again, everybody's different, man. So, like, for me, it was just, I was no longer the priority. Like, mm. whatever my wants and needs were, it was never, it was no longer the priority. Like, sure. it was what she needed, no, what good. she had to have. Like, that's what became the priority. And again, some people don't think that way. Yeah. It's just the way the world is. Sad, but um, yeah, man. Yeah. They say some people don't think that way, but that's just the way the world is. That's real. Yeah. That's real. You know, like I said, the kids, I believe the kids uh, help you to, you know, see your purpose. Yeah. You know, you know, you just being there. It's no longer. You're no longer the priority no more. It's now like another person I'm responsible for. I have to make sure this person has everything they need down to the T. Because if not, you're not promised tomorrow. Mm. So if that day comes and you just, if you look back and like, did I do everything I needed to do yeah. for that person? It's no longer me. And I, I tell my lady that, take yourself out the equation. We, we are no longer important anymore. It's, it's all about yeah. this here. So it's just, you know. That's a good it's just <clears throat> acting as a father. Once you see that baby come out, it automatically you spoke to automatically switch it to another mother. See, but that's the thing. It's, it's uh, there's people, there's dudes out there who don't feel that same way that they have to step up because they feel like I guess it wasn't just my decision to knock you up. Like you wanted to have sex with me, type shit, and you got knocked up. Like really, I mean, yeah, that's my seed, but <clears throat> I mean, do I really gotta be here? Type shit. Dude, there's, my thing. There's dudes. But see, my thing is, and I tell him, you can't lead people on like that. You know what I'm saying? And especially if you out there doing, sir, if you do out there doing stuff that you know is gonna lead to a kid, like yeah. come on, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should have been responsible before that. Now don't don't yeah. bitch up and run and run. Yeah. When you see that oh, no. bump in the stomach, yeah. you did that. Oh no, stand up. You yeah. in them yeah. demon time and all of that. You know what I'm saying? It's repercussion and consequence, just like your mama said. For everything that you do. Oh. So if, if you lay thing you did that with. Well, Oh, and be a man about that. Step up. And especially yeah. if you say you didn't have your father and you say he was just, you know, he just got up and walked off one day. Yeah. You and I told somebody, one of my clients, sometimes in life, you know, that, that generation curse, it comes back on you sometimes. Yep. And you either gonna repeat that what your daddy did to you, yep. or you're gonna stop it right there. I said, but sometimes it falls on you, and if you're gonna continue to do that, mm-hmm. it's like, okay, well, well. It's just gonna keep on happening. Your son not gonna fuck with you, and it's just gonna be a generation of you not fucking with your daddy. But like I said, us me ain't gotta step up. Yeah, and I, I think that's just simple. Like um, like you said, um, generational curses. I think it's all a mindset to me. It's all mm-hmm. like somebody has to break that. No matter who it is, like somebody has to break that. Somebody has to fix that bond between the two. In my opinion. But um, but you know, yeah, I think I think too. Some people just don't feel that same way. I'm gonna be the devil's advocate. There's there's people don't believe in the generational curse. You know what I'm saying? That's That's true. Damn, they just like this is just what life is. Like what's in front of you. Just because it happened to you, I didn't make the same decisions you made. But yeah, we're in the same spot. Doesn't really mean it's a curse. Just to me, you know what I'm saying? To me, just where you at? But <laughs> that makes sense, though. I believe it. history repeats itself. So you know, if your dad, if, if, if there was a time, you know, somebody's daddy wasn't there, yeah. 
like I said, you could have had the same feelings like shit. I, I, he wasn't it for me. Wow. <laughs> Fuck it. Before they even get there, I'm out. Yeah. You could have had the same feeling, but it's like you saw something that was like, I can't do that. Yeah. I believe well, first that. Of all, yeah, it's just that think, memory comes that that comes to everybody's head. I think I think my mom got in. If this were a situation where it happened or whatever, she's like, you know, you gotta step up. Right? And, sure. I, and that's that's again, that's all from my mama's side. Right? She's she's just, right. I guess she raised me to be pretty, pretty all right. Yeah, <laughs> sure. You know what I'm saying? I like to give her credit for whenever. Like, oh yeah, blah blah. I'm like, yeah, that's probably from the moms. I got it from her. Um, but like, I don't know, man. I couldn't see myself just not being in my kid's life. Though. That's weird. That's weird, right? Yeah, like I said, and it's especially a daughter. Yeah, no, you say you want a daughter. I know I'm gonna have a daughter. I just know it. Yeah, I just know <laughs> it. One, bro. I just cool. know it. Um, I can't really. I don't know. Kids are cool. Kids are cool, but like, like I said, if you raise a cool kid, it's cool to have it. We got them little brats that's just like again, it's just parents the way they raise them. But like, that's a bad time. Not I hate my, being around some little kids, bro. Some little kids be bad. Bro. I like, believe. And I so we talk about that somewhere. You know, like, like I say, kids are seeds. You know yeah. how you and that mother was way before that seed was even planted. Yeah. And, uh, so it's a seed, and if that's a toxic relationship, that's yeah. a demon seed <laughs> off the rip. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I know some cool people, man. They just get just like mad. Now hyper is cool, but, but I'm like, talking, I'm about, talking about, like, about like bad. Well, I went to school with like, bad. You mean kids. bad kids? I went uh, to public yeah. school. I know what bad kids are. I seen the girl in second grade take off on a teacher. Damn. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. I think I went to that. Like I, said, <laughs> I, I went to public schools here, so yeah, I've man. seen. And you got kids that will come to school and cuss the teacher out, and it's like, what? So like I said, yeah, that's so weird. <laughs> it's weird, but like, it's happening. Yeah. Hey, man. It's happening. So like I said, it's just raising kids, bro. <laughs> got to stop raising these demon kids. Um, and back, back to the pandemic though. Um, in 2020, I'm sure it was um, tough as artists. And you know, how was it? How would it like to stay relevant in those times? It was hard, man. It was hard because like venues shut down, right? Mm. Um, even the ones that were open, it was like max capacity was like 60 people or some shit. But you don't really make money at a show with 60 people because like. Mm. So what other ways did you tap into, you know, what well, other platforms did you tap into to keep yourself relevant? What I did was I went on Twitch. Y'all have never heard of Twitch? Twitch. Mm, I heard of it Twitch.tv. Um, so Twitch is just like a live streaming service. Mm-hmm. And typically it's video games. Um, but recently, like, uh, IRLs, um, so like live vlogs have kind of taken over. Uh, mostly chicks in bikinis and hot tubs and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, who wouldn't watch that? Bruh. Bruh. You know what I'm saying? I look I'm not a hater, bro, but I'm like, damn, I wish cause that all right, so when you stream, you can have people subscribe to your streams. Mm-hmm. So you make money while you live stream. You know what I'm saying? That might be something you incorporate. Bro. Um So like these girls on in bikinis and hot tubs are getting like, you know, twenty thousand viewers a day and shit. How many subscriptions each day? Who knows? Like making bank full, and I'm just like, man, I got like one viewer on right now. You can get one, you can get ten, you can get ten, you can get a hundred, you can get a hundred. Man, man, bro, I wish it was like that for a streamer, bro. <laughs> but it's not, bro. It, it's not how it works in the street. Nah, right. I wish it was, bro. That that is not not it. But um, <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, so I, I started Twitch streaming and then playing video games because I got really good at them. Right? Mm-hmm. The pandemic, I, uh, I wasn't working on anything like that. Everything shut down, bro. So with that, like, with that and the world shutting down, how is, how important is it for you to network? Because, like I said, you say venues, you know, closed down. You couldn't do certain stuff. Mm-hmm. Eventually, the the city got to get back open. Yep. So how was how important was it for you to get out there, shake hands, and get to, you know, meet people? So when this stuff, you open back up, you already got your foot in the door. Like, hey, remember me? Yeah. Like, hey. So I like, I like the meeting people. Okay. Right now, right? Because every celebrity eventually gets over it. Like, oh, meeting people sucks, blah, blah. Um, I like networking at my shows. Like, I like just talking to folk. Um, a lot of times, bro, you run into people who you never thought were connected with somebody. It's so, true. You know what I'm saying? It's true. Um, and so, it's just, I don't know, man. Um, when you interact with people, I think there's a better connection. 
Um, I'm not with my music. I'm not looking for like a popularity type sound. Like, I'm not just trying to be the next hit song. Like I want people to really listen to my music and then be like, yo, like, I really fuck with this dude. Like his shit's dope. Like so, whenever I have shows, I don't have to have ten artists. You know what I'm saying? There. I'm like, yo, come to my show. I'm dropping sure. an album and I'm just full ten tracks. We're doing that shit right there and there. Like, you know what I'm saying? And people buy the tickets because why they fuck with me on a personal yeah. level rather than just I'm someone they see on their blog spot on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? So that sense. that's that's why I like the network. That's why I like being able to talk to people. And this pandemic, like it, it halt it halted that for a while, you know what I'm saying? But being able to twist stream, be able to like still talk to people on my stream and bring people from overseas, uh, Norway, Germany, Ireland. Um, and then now I got people listening to me there and who knows who they're sharing that shit to. How do you like I know this is America, so you know a lot of viewers may be watching. No, for real, I wanna know. <laughs> <laughs> you know this is America. So I would like to know, uh, you know, how how do you get your music, you know, to those other places like that? All right, so you got to do you got to do the work. All right, oh, uh, you got to do the work. A lot of people. All right, so this is what I was doing. We good? We good? Okay. We good? Um, I had just dropped nuts. I don't know if y'all heard nuts on my on my Spotify. I don't think I heard. I heard right. the album. Oh you, yeah, you heard the new album. Have y'all heard Again, nuts on Spotify? If you've heard, if you've heard nuts on Spotify, I, all right. I was about to do South by Southwest, mm-hmm. uh, 2019. Oh. Um, I was supposed to be on the set with Face to Face Over, Over, some TSF guys, um, Southside Hill and whatever. Anyways, COVID hits, that shit gets stopped. I was dropping a song that same day that it was a show, so I was gonna do it live for everybody on the day it dropped. No go. So I was like, fuck it, man. We're just going to drop it anyway. Mm-hmm. Do this shit out anyway. Uh, put a video out to it like a couple months later. Um, and just try to keep the wave alive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so what I did was I would stay up on Instagram and find like bloggers overseas, like in the UK, mm-hmm. um, like I said, Norway, Germany, um, what's the one out there? Ireland. Um, and I would just be like, hey, I'm Trusted Guapo from Houston, Texas. Uh, I got this new song, Nuts. Uh, check it out. A lot of them didn't hit me back, which is cool. I mean, it's just all it did was a simple yeah. DM to hit me yeah, back. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And someone was just like, yo, this is dope. Next thing I know is I'm seeing Spotify numbers like start changing on my algorithm. And I was just like, oh, shit, dope. I got a couple playlists out of nowhere. I was like, this is, this is dope. Um, and so once I kind of saw that, okay, shit, this is working. You know what I'm saying? Me okay. staying up at night. If you're going in and sending these DMs, because you got to think about it, man. If you're getting DMs in your sleep, like while you're asleep, you're not going to answer that shit until the ne- very next morning, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm waiting until they're up. It's 11 o'clock there in the morning. They should be up, even though it's 3 o'clock where I'm at or 4 o'clock where I'm at. I'm going to send them this quick DM. And I would get some responses, man. Some people just be like, oh, I... So they would be like, I don't understand what What kept is. you going in those moments? Hmm? What kept you going in those moments? <sighs> I think, all right. I don't want to go out wishing, like, thinking what if. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be, like, in a year and be like, dude, what if I just stayed up that extra hour and sent that one extra email? Where did I got? Like, dude, what if I would have done? Like, I don't want to do that. So, like, I'm trying to just do whatever I can to, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Make you it happen you. now, bro. You, you. you know what I'm saying? So I don't have to regret not doing that later. You feel me? Just kind of covering my base. That makes sense. That makes sense. Like I said, what you saying, you know, you was up late night sending DMs and everything. Uh, do you believe, like I said, in this time and age, or like you just having that conversation the other day, I know some people that's totally against Instagram. Like, I don't care for it. Mm-hmm. I, to me, I call them grumpy and old. I said, you're grumpy and old and you're not getting the time because the time is changing. It's so much easier for you to reach other people unless you catch a plane flights. To go to the places you can do it from the tap of your phone. So, so you recently, believe it's essential that you know you got a business or something trying to promote yourself further than just your circle, your wherever you at. Do you believe that you need that? I think it's a tool that you can use. Mm-hmm. I don't think you need it, but I do think it helps tremendously. Mm-hmm. Um, so I know 
recently I found out people have Instagrams that they just don't really get. Like, mm-hmm. like I'll start chopping it up with them, be like, "Oh yeah, did you see my my last post?" They're like, oh, "I haven't been on in like two days." Mm-hmm. You haven't been on in two days? Like, who does that? But like, people really do that, and I'm just like, "That's crazy." Um, so what I started doing recently on my Instagram is just being repetitive with some of my posts on my story. So like, whatever I post today, I That's might cool. repost some of those <clears throat> tomorrow because somebody didn't see it yesterday. For sure. You know what I'm saying? You might have seen it, and good, you saw it. Guess what? You saw it again. Suck. <laughs> what what did the, the the love and the passion come from uh, your music? Because I can I can listen to the album and I can tell like you're really passionate about what you do. Um. So I just always kind of like music. I never all right. So up until after high school, I started making like started writing. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, my earlier stuff that I started trying to write was not very good. I'm gonna be straight up. No one will ever hear it. It's in a vault. <laughs> Put away that shit. Just stop thinking about it. You'll never, you'll never hear it. Um, but as I was like creating these songs, and just, I was just doing like a garage band in my in my crib, mm-hmm. I kind of would like sit there and listen to like, all right, what what could I? I guess what could I do to be unique? You know what I'm saying? But not be like corny. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Um, Because, like, first of all, it's hard for the Spanish rapper in the rap game, bro. It's not as hard as it used to be, but it's not as easy, bro. Like, sometimes you'll walk into a space, bro, and people just look at you and be like, it's not it. And then your music cuts on, they're like, oh shit. That's it. Yeah. And it's you gotta you gotta earn the respect. You know what I'm saying? I feel. Um, and I think, in anything you do, yeah. Um, but walk that shit. You feel me? I got you. Yeah. I got you. What's some of your influences in the um, rap game and do you incorporate that into your music or I like Outcast. Okay, so okay. I like uh I've been listening to a lot of corridos recently. Uh, of corridos. Corridos. Uh, basically like Mexican trap music. Okay. Uh, okay. But let me have to do that. I'm gonna have to give you some. Uh, sure. I'm gonna say some playlists. Um, for sure. I will. What else? Uh, what else I have to listen to? Let's see. It's Nipsey. I like a lot of Nipsey. Okay. Um, rest in peace, Nipsey. For sure. Um, what else I have to listen to? I like a lot of metal. I listen to a lot of metal music. Uh, I've been listening to a lot of August Springs Red recently. I, I know y'all are probably like, ah, oh, who, who is this people? I say, you know, is this new game? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I listen to a lot of metal, man. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, as far as, like, my influence in that, I just, I do listen to a wide range of artists and okay. genres. But, um, yeah, man. That's good, though. So, you're not, you know, just, you know, just capping yourself yeah. in the craft to just, you know, a ear for just one thing. That's good. Yeah. Though, some people are like, listening to that shit. Dude, all right. So I just dropped this project, right? Uh-huh. This project yeah. that's going to drop July 21st, 2021. That's, that's, that's the album. Right? That's Miralo. Say it again for the one yeah. that didn't hear it, man. So Miralo. Okay. Miralo. My, my debut album. Okay. Trail City Wapples debut album. Okay. Miralo will drop July 21st, that's 2021. Exclusive. And so I <laughs> sent y'all. I sent y'all. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. And, uh, I just want to hear what, uh, you know what I'm saying? For sure, right. man. Like I said, we're going to go to commercial real quick. We're going to play one of the songs off the album, man. Y'all stay tuned and tap in. And you! Okay. Run the track! Run the track! Run the track! Like a tambourine. tambourine, grab that booty, squeeze it like a tangerine. tangerine. The way she move, I swear she move just like a dream. Like a dream. Call my mama, she the baddest on the team. Drop that, work that, bounce back, groove. I got it. Like 
Commercial man, uh, like I said, that was a beautiful song, man. Like I said, all the ladies with them tangerines, y'all make sure y'all tap in with my boy True City Guapo. Uh, but let's get into it. Uh, you know, talk about the album, man. Talk about the album. Yeah, man. So like my first album. Um, <clears throat> how did well, it feel? Uh, felt good. It felt good, man. Um, so like, all right. So I dropped a bunch of singles prior mm-hmm. to this album, right? Uh, which was, when I say a bunch, I dropped like. I done some some feature work with the homie who's like produced a lot of my music previously, um, and that kind of got us some buzz here in Houston. And then I I decided to go solo, and so I dropped Yuck Out and um, Nuts, and that gave me just like mad buzz. And I always said like I didn't want to drop a whole album unless people asked for it, and people asked for it, which I thought was like cool. I was like, all right, they're like just like when's a full album coming out? We get you're dropping singles, but like we want more, and so. I just went ahead and just one day was like, you know what? I'm going to do it, bro. It makes sense. In the time we live in now to where it's like, you know, you see so many deluxe projects, 18 songs. Yeah. Why only seven? Because I want to drop multiple projects, not just sit on one for a year and a half. I kind of yeah. already have my idea for what I want to do next, but I'm also doing something different. Uh, I'm going to stay to like my, you know what I'm saying, my style of music but just you know, widen it up a little bit you know what i'm saying okay and so i kind of have another idea for a different type of album and so i just feel kind of like uh fine dining right they don't give you a lot of food but yeah. the food they give you is high quality and that's how i want to feel when i do my music i'm not going to give you just some filler tracks mm-hmm. just because to call it an album i'll give you some seven good ones i stand i'll stand behind every single one of these tracks that i made on this album Wholeheartedly, man. I put in, I put in some work, man, and I think people are gonna enjoy it, bro. For sure. For sure. For sure. I, I want to ask you uh, about um, the song "Sleepless Nights." It sounds like where were you in the moment? Like what headspace were you in? Because I hear you, you you saying so much. You like it's a risk with the reward. Um, it just sounds like you dealing with it a lot. And I hear at the last ending, you telling yourself like. In your mind, you're trying to escape. Yeah. Like, where were you? So, whenever, I think sometimes for, I think any any artist, right, you kind of have this uh, mindset of like, am I going to make it? Mm-hmm. Right? You know, it depends on what your your um, definition of success is, right? So, okay. But as I think most musicians, like, yeah, you want to get that bread, bro. You want to you wanna make some money. But that, that's where you want to be. Um, you want some might want the fame, whatever the case is. Um, there's nights where it just doesn't feel like that's that's happening. You know what I'm saying? Um, it feels like, damn, is this really worth it? Like this money I'm investing into myself because making music is an investment. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got to either pay for studio time, you're paying for beats, you don't have somebody in the team. Like there's money to be spent in it, 
And sometimes it's like, all right, these extra hundred dollars that I just spent in studio time could have gone into may perhaps buying something for the family, more groceries, yeah. fixing the car, uh, you know, buying new tires, whatever that may be. You know what I'm saying? Little expenses around the house. Like, sure. could this money have gone somewhere better than me just wasting my time on my quote unquote dream? And it's kind of like you got to fight through it. You know what I'm saying? You just got to push and just be like, I mean, you got to go all in. I think we talked about it earlier. Like, I don't want to live with the what if for sure. as, as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I should have tried. What if I, I would just would have gone one more month, like spend one more time, one more hour in the session? Yeah. Damn. You know what I'm saying? And so, yeah, man, I just, I feel that I've gone through it and I think every other artist has gone through it. You know what I'm saying? With the doubt. And that's where I was kind of at, man. Where I'm at every day, I do. I would, I, I would be lying if I didn't, if I didn't tell you, like yesterday was I like, damn, like, are, am I going fast enough? Like, am I picking up? Have I done everything I could to get this music out before the album roll out? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you kind of, you get these doubts, man, and you just gotta push through it, and the success will come, right? That's what they say. I just saw a post yesterday. If your life gets harder, just say congratulations. You just never up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man. And For it sure. seems that way. For sure. I'm learning that too. It's um what did the storm like? Yeah. Life not going it's not gonna stop happening. Mm. It's gonna continue happening yeah, harder and harder. Whether and harder. you wanted to or not, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just, just like, you know, go through that. Whether the storm, like like you said, it's something on the other side. <laughs> it's it's gotta be right. The, yeah. For sure. You got to and life sure. you can't cheat the game because the game don't cheat you. Mm. You For put sure. the work in and you know and it's always gonna be a hard level you got to come across. But what yeah. you what you gonna do, run backwards? You can jump over to go through it, but you got to break through it, though. And it's always going to keep reappearing. Like I told you, another scenario, but you got to get through no, certain shit. Sure. Yeah, for sure. It don't matter. Yeah, man. For sure. So, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of what Sleepless Nights is about, man. It's just for sure. doubts. You know what I'm saying? Just, uh, pers- just some personal things going on, you know what I'm saying, with me. Mm-hmm. And I usually, like when I started making the music, you hear yuck out, you hear nuts. I'm even acting with tambourine. Like at that point, I don't think I was ready to just kind of uh, express myself. You know what I'm saying? In a track. And so with that one, I thought I did I did well. You know what I'm saying? And I think it, it came across as like I know I'm not the only one who felt this way. Like I'm sure the listener, hopefully, the listener, if they've gone, you know, felt that way before, that they know like yo, nigga, I'm still pushing. So if I'm pushing. Sure. You should be pushing as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you sometimes put, you know, the emotion? Like I said, I know, it's like, I, you know, my dog, I know, you know, sometimes, like I said, in your real life, it goes yeah. into the music. Do you sometimes put, go into that booth and just put the emotion into that mic? First um, of all, I did, for a lot of the tracks, man, it's it's really like, all right, so my music, and I try to tell people, it's not that deep, but like, now this is my set, I guess it could be a little deep. But, <laughs> yeah, it's deep. I listen to you what you said, it's deep. Um, but the other tracks I kind of had in mind, like something that you could just kind of bump to and something that was catchy. Mm-hmm. You know, think about jingles, bro. Like jingles mm-hmm. make money, bro. It's stuck in people's heads. And so I wanted what these songs would be like were not only with some dope bars, but also like jingly. You know what I'm saying? A lot of my hooks are kind of catchy. I feel my six-year-old catcher would run around the apartment like singing them. <laughs> so I know they're catchy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Um, and that's what I try to do. I'm just trying to make good music people can vibe to. I think that's that's the best way to say it. It's like, For sure. you know, you play in the house, have this in the background, and then out of nowhere, it's just like I drop a, a bar. And like, oh, shit. Yeah. That's dope. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, man. So it, a lot of my music is just kind of like, like I said, it's a vibe. And uh, Sleep is Nice is just something new. <laughs> <laughs> and so I don't want to hype it up too much, man, because I got people in my DMs like, man, I should be whack. No, nah, it's it's um, <laughs> I, I like it. Chug and then down. you talked about um where you grew up fast. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, I mean like any like any kid when I guess the dad's not around, right? You just kinda of feel like, okay, do I just, I gotta step up and right? It's not really in that sense, but like, you know, you don't have a father figure. You don't have somebody to look at. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And so now you just gotta figure shit out. And you know, there's shit that you probably shouldn't figure out when you're 10, 11 years old, like, for sure. what drugs are. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You shouldn't have to, like, start worrying about gangbang and shit. You know what I'm saying? And so, like, you just, my journey is just, I, 
I grew fast, bro. I had to learn. You know what I'm saying? You had to absorb everything going around you and just learn from it. And mm-hmm. grow. And grow. Damn. Damn. That's a good one. That's a good one. When that album coming again? When that album? When that that album, album is coming July 21st, 2021. It's called Meet Up. By Trill City Blog Post. On all platforms. Trill City Blog Post. Yeah, Trill City Blog Post. Y'all check me out, man. Meet Up. Make sure y'all download the tap in. Make sure y'all listen. And like I say, with today being Father's Day, uh, you know, y'all may catch this content, you know, later. But like I said, with this being Father's Day, uh, we want to gift you with something, man. Like I say, uh, yeah, this man. product right here, man, is, uh, like I said, you got one right next to you. <clears throat> this is a product we came up with, uh, Joystick. It's actually every male in the city, man, in the world need to have Joystick in your car, in your whole bag, in your... In your backpack, y'all walk around so, with salt. So what is? It? So hold on. So how do they apply this? How does this apply? So you shake it up, shake it up right here. We don't gotta do a full demonstration. But few, just, few so pump. Oh, up. ain't no fun no full demonstration. <laughs> <laughs> hold up, he's like, look, bro, we're gonna. Hey, like, no, yeah, hey, hold up, man. Just, give shake, us a second, bro. Look, it. all right. So we go, we go shake this up. We gonna squirt some on our hands, splash, splash. Yeah, splash. for sure. But like I say, uh, it's the on the go wash for your purple pickle, man. On the go walls. You can use it for that too. On the on hey, the you know, Houston gets hot. Yeah, Sometimes the armpits get sweaty. And that purple pickle gets to be funky too. Yep. This is a, a full wash for full the purple wash. pickle, man. Sorry, you finna go pull up on it after the gym. You out, got the work. And you gotta go catch your play, man. Joystick is what you need, man. <laughs> hey, bro, Always be ahead of the game with joystick. <laughs> salty nut boys. Hey. But see, you shouldn't be selling this to the wives, though. Not really to the men. Because the wives buy shit. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, and, they, and, they know, and they know. Well, I mean, oh. you know, the yeah, and I say it's uh, all vegan, vegan, all natural. Balance your pH. Like I said, man, we need this. But some of y'all go in the bathroom, man, and piss. Don't even shake it. You put it right back in your drawers and tell her to eat it. You wonder why she don't want to do it. She telling you she don't do it because your thing is nasty. But get you some joystick, man. Stay ahead of the game, man. Control the game. That's how you do that, man. Just letting y'all know, man. Yes. Yeah. Turn up the death! Yeah. Alright, man, so this is me, I love the first track on my new debut album. Drop it July 21st, 2021. Me, I love my Trail City. Wow. Hey, hey. Check. Me that low, there we go. 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 Mira lo de rico, mira lo de rico, hey que se cree, hey muy chingón, hey, mira lo de rico, went from a 10 to 24 karat go, a diamond for love a rock made it out, who that was a miracle, my teachers would tell me you destined for failure, I hope that they hear me now, I hope that they see me now, I'm smoking this louder, they smelling me now. All of the women that diss me regret their decision. They see my ambition. Get every goal, quick scope, perfect precision. Rocking on the mission. Chasing the money, the fetty, the black light, the yen, the gear was the pesos, the pounds. I made hella moves to come out the ground. My mama's so proud of me now. Me that little drop me, July 21st, 2021. Y'all catch me. True City Guapo on all platforms. Thank you, Barbershop Raps. Hit every goal, quick scope, perfect position, guap in on the mission. Hey, chasing the money, the petty, the plata, the yen, the euros, the pesos, the pounds. I made hella moves to come out the ground. My mama's so proud of me now. Me that low, there we go. Yo, 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 man. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for joining me, man. Thank y'all for tapping in and tuning in with True City Guapo. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me. And, uh, joystick, man. Wash your balls. <laughs> Watch that pro yeah. Houston is too hot for y'all to walk around here like that, man. Make sure y'all tap in and tune in, man. Get yeah, y'all some joystick, man. Joystick. Trillstick Guapo on our platforms, man. Sure. Meet Allo Drops, July 21st, 2021. But y'all already got it, man. So, yeah. you know nice what I'm saying? Nice to have you, man. Yeah, nice I appreciate it, man. Thanks, Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. Hey.
Oh yeah, girl, with them down, with them. <laughs> Tap in. Tap J Bo sent you. Money don't control me. They don't see the work that you put in. J Mo say you either do it for the hustle or the passion. Man, I hustle with my passion. I'm passionate. This all that I got. Man, I gotta make it happen. God help me stay on track. I know I'm dope with the rest.